What's up guys, BTBS here, welcome back to another episode of Agrarian Skies, yes, it's time for some more Agrarian Skies, let's see what I've got kicking around in here, um, not all that much, I've got another 8 quadruple, I've got 54k which is enough to make about another 8 or 9, um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm really, really struggling to get this dirt. And I decided to take a quick look on uh, Reddit and just, just ask, you know, any simple ways of getting the 650,000 dirt you need for the quest. And I got an answer which made me face palm so hard I almost broke my own nose. There, oh. I am honestly surprised I did not realise this. Uh, what we're going to need is a couple of Tesseracts. Let's just go and fill those up. Where am I going? My machines are over here. Oh, that is so dreadfully slow. Wait, doesn't it take 4,000 to fill a tesseract? It does, doesn't it? Yep, my bad. Um, that'll fill one, and since there's already eight in there, that'll fill the other. No? No, it doesn't take 4,000. Tesseract only takes a thousand, huh? Okay, so I'll stop those from going. So, yeah, the basic idea behind this: Ender Quarry. We're going to use the Ender Quarry, which we haven't even used. Um, we're going to use the Ender Quarry to do this. We're going to use the Ender Quarry to give us, you know, a hundred trillion dirt, and. Um, yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be a good time. So, the Ender Quarry's boundaries are marked out by fences. And what else am I going to need? I am going to need uh, a bit of dirt as a seed. Uh, I don't think I even need that much. Let me just take this. And then do doing that. And that. Come on. Um... Probably not a good idea to jump into the game after just AFKing for several hours to try and get more dirt, which is uh, what I've been doing, so yay. Hopefully, using this trick, I won't ever have to get dirt again. I've got a bunch of those, I just need my Tesseracts. Um, oh, so slow. So slow. It's almost done with the second one. Oh. I suppose I'm kind of spoiled. I've been checking out the 1710s and uh, Thermal Expansion 4 with the ability to speed up machines. Oh, so worth it. I don't care if it takes 8,000 RF a tick to run a smelter, a smelter and a fluid transposer. It's so worth it. Oh, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Tesseract should be appearing any second now unless you have your outputs no you have your output set to down there it is right so um, we're going to want to tap into the power supply obviously so we shall go right here I think this is the first two tesseracts I've ever oh I haven't crafted them I think this is the first two tesseracts I've ever actually used which is not exactly shocking it just you know Really? I already had one in there. Damn it. Yeah, you wouldn't think, you know, it would be extremely late end game before I'd actually use a Tesseract. You know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to uh, just reset this quickly. Uh, let's see how quick everything runs when I'm actually in the nether and stuff. So, put that there. We are going to add a new frequency. One. Power. Add. This frequency is going to be sending. Sending energy. Just sending. Set. Save. Open. Ignore redstone. Like that. And then we're going to go into the end. Uh, might need a piece of redstone cable for this. Redstone, and you know what I should else I should do? 
let's take that tesseract there and let's do this. We'll put this here. We will remove this and we'll set up a tesseract there. We're on the same network, set frequency, but um, receive only, send receive. What do we want? We want it to only receive items, and it's going to put its items in this chest, and uh, the items is going to be the dirt. The items is going to be our ridiculous out, uh, output of dirt. And I think one tesseract on there to get power. I need those fences. What am I doing? Uh, not feces, fences. Right. And we could also do with impulse item duct just because I think I might need some of those. I should do. So, into the nether. I have not really had a problem with going in the nether. Um, once I got, you know, a decent set of armor and some completely ridiculously overpowered weapons and such, I did not have much of a problem going in the nether at all. So, we're going to find an area that looks uh, prime real estate, like this. We're going to put down the ender quarry right here, and we are going to lay some fence. Just like this. Basically, you mark out the boundary for this quarry with fences, which is uh, seems fine. I mean, in the uh, updated version, they've got the QED in, so you use the QED. Oh wait, doesn't all this shit explode for like no good reason? Oh yeah, and of course there's those guys. Yeah, lots of those guys. Excuse me. I'm busy. Fuck off. There we go. Sounded like I was just being extremely rude to someone, like, in my house. Um. Fuck off, sword. Where? Right, I still hear one of them. Hey, sword. Goodbye. Ha 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 ha. Um, yeah, so, we're just gonna run the fence. And here, like so, fucking fire. Damn, Netherrack never knows when to stop burning. Um, where is my magnet? I'm just going to turn that off for now. Yes, we're just going to go down here. Really? That can't harvest salt. I find that salt is now a harvest level of manalium. What the fuck did I miss? Salt is now harder to harvest than cobalt and ardite. Weird, but okay. It just strikes me as a little really fucking weird, honestly. So yeah, basically the last thing you'd ever think of doing in a uh, skyblock is a quarry. You know, especially since I didn't even think about this for ages. And when I did think about it, doing this did not occur to me, I'll be honest with you. Oh, I can't wait to try this and see if it actually works. Would be so good if it does, because this is my uh, this is my initial test. By the way, I found out about this about three or four minutes ago, and I was just like, "Shit, if that works, I need to do it." So uh, better boot up Fraps and start recording. I didn't carve it out high enough to actually be allowed to, allowed to go in there. Uh, just get rid of 
this. Here we go. Shouldn't be too bad if I just place the fence on the other fence. They should place fairly quick. Fairly, really quick, in fact. Bring that. Also, I've got to say, this healing axe, amazingly overpowered, but I don't like how it doesn't work as an axe. It's like a shit axe. Basically anything would be a better axe than this axe. Fucking things. I hate these little shit cunts. Where are they? Oh, they fucked off in fear. Good. Now I believe all I have to do is uh, turn the ground here into dirt and I should be cooking with gas. Hello, extremely large amount of these guys. What have you withered me? Well that's not very nice. I can't t no I wasn't hitting them really oh see that's the worst that's one of the worst things about them they inflict their status effects on you when you hit them bullshit that is absolute bullshit is what I say they should not be able to inflict their status effects if they're not actively hitting you oh god look at all this fire and again, I am in the nether. What, do, what else did I expect apart from fire, death, and sadness? Jesus Christ! Fucking hell, son! Come on, out you come. That's it, stop being pricks. And just come over here and, like, go into the ground. Go on, in you go. Ground's right there. It's lovely in redstone. It's lovely in red, I should say. Not redstone. It's uh, netherrack, that's what it is. Ah, oh, thank you for the, the flying lesson there. Is there one of them fuckers with, like, the really annoying set of abilities so that you basically can't damage it and it can damage you constantly? Right, that one fucked off. That one teleported, I think. Uh, da, 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 da. The fire's really annoying as well. Because you can't tell where the cunt is. Right. Let's have another go at this, shall we? Oh, I also don't have that on my bar. What the fuck? Polished sticks. Oh, yeah, I made those sticks I needed from Mariculture. Yeah, a little explosion incoming. <laughs> Are you done? No, apparently not. Really? Man, these guys suck. <clears throat> what I'm going to do, I'm just going to try it in a small area. Just to see if it works. Your proof of concept should not be a large area. Especially when that large area involves clearing out a fucking cliff. I did not think that one through properly, I must admit. So, let's just do... Uh, up to here. Yes, hello! Weber weakness sprint. Really? How do you sprint? You have no legs. You move like a snail or something. Snail, but snails have... Technically they have feet. I believe is what they're called. Let me just see if I go over here. Wow, I just looked at the map. There is a lot of them there. And they don't seem to want to fuck off when I move away from them. Ugh, I suppose I'll just fight some of them. Or I could just try and be a sneaky bastard and not fight them. By staying up high and uh, dodging the occasional fireball. You, come here, you. Where are you? Oh, that's the last thing I need. They're already fucking hard enough to hit. I get invisible ones as well. 
die, die. Go and suck all kinds of dick. Take this sword blade and fillet it. Stick it right inside yourself and swivel like a corkscrew. See, these guys are just really fucking annoying at this point. They were definitely a bad choice for, you know, being in the game. Especially since, you know, even though they may be kind of hard uh, at first, once you get the ability to kill them, which doesn't take that long, honestly. What? You're a normal fucking... Oh, I don't even want to know. Yeah, once you get the ability to kill them, they basically serve as a source of extremely easy loot. And you can get some good loot from these guys as well. But I'm just more annoyed with the fact that I have to deal with them. I hate these little fuckers. They're just as bad as fucking replicators and silverfish were before them. All of them can go and suck a dick. Die! And another one. Arrgh. Fuck you. Get to shit. Where the fuck? Really? Really? That many of you were hiding in the ground for me? Bullshit. Come over here. Come over here and just fall off. Oh. Whoa! Health actually down low. That's a new one. I shouldn't die. But that... So uh, that's actually worrying that my health is down low. Where is this? Right, first off, you get to shit, you get to shit, you get to shit, and you uh, do not need an ME cable. Heal, heal, regen, regen will do. Right, how are you all doing over here? Oh, great. Apparently that's how you're doing. You are all doing great. Is that a rainbow ore? No, that's uh, gold or copper. They look very similar. Excuse me, I'm building here. That's it. Go and find your homes. Return to your homes. Nothing to kill here. Get rid of that. Fuck off. That. Punch out a bit of this just so it doesn't interfere. There we go. Now, I would like to take this and this. I'll use this to put a bit of that there. And. Then just wand of equal trade this, so there's dirt on the top layer, and it should serve my purpose. Oh yeah, of course, it's going to get rid of those as well, isn't it? Actually, I don't even know if there needs to be dirt on the top layer. This is um, why I'm confused about this. Basically, this wonderful quarry turns everything it mines into uh, whatever block as far as I was aware it turns it whatever it mines into whatever block was on top of it so if there's dirt on top of it then it just mines out everything and replaces it all with dirt but the way uh, people are saying this it like some people are saying that's how it works some people are saying that you don't need the dirt So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to set this up here, because I'm pretty sure it won't give power, the uh, Tesseract won't just give power, it has to have somewhere for the power to go, so I'll do that. Oh really? Fucking really? What's your abilities? Alchemist, yeah fantastic. You're the really annoying ones that 
fucking, you're like the Glasgow scum of the earth. You just bottle me. Huh. Should that not be connecting to there? Right, analyze fence boundary. Successfully analyzed. Scanning eight blocks. So it's mining. Doesn't have any way to put the items. I thought that would work. One second. This is to the northeast of my pool. Any excuse to leave the nether. I don't know why I don't come in here all that much now. I do enjoy I do enjoy fucking around with um, the bound pickaxe, just flying up really high, using the bound pickaxe and watching all of them little shit cunts fall to their death and laughing as they die. <sighs> I'm not an angry man. I just hate those little fucks. What did I want? I wanted a chest and a servo. So I don't. No, I've never used this quarry before, just disclaimer right there. I've never actually used it, I've seen it used a few times, I've had it used on a world that I was playing on many times, I've just never actually set one up myself. So what if I did this? I put a chest on top of it. And then it mines stuff out. Although I could just void it for all I care. In fact, if I do this, uh, all my particles, it should show me what one it's focusing on, shouldn't it? I believe that was a thing. Minus 8720. Minus 87. 120. So it's starting over here. Yeah, see you guys, doing this line here. So if I go down, these, yeah, it looks like this is dirt all the way down. So basically, I I let this run, and it mines out all the netherrack, and because it's an ender quarry, and what it wants to do is reduce lag, it replaces every block it mines out with the topsoil block, or dirt. And then I just come in here any way I want and get the dirt. I just have a bunch of dirt sitting out there. I can use any method I want to retrieve it. I actually didn't think this far ahead of how to retrieve it, but I'm sure I'll find a way. I'm a resourceful fella. And I'm also out of dirt. No, I'm not. Stop. Stop. Do the cobble. And the cobble. And the cobble. And the cobble here. Whoops. Um. Fuck off! Haha, <laughs> I can just do that, nice. Um, let's see if it's still working. Fuck off! Oh, annoying little fucks. And this thing also uh, auto chunk loads, which is nice. So, wow, yeah, it's mining out all the ores and stuff as well. But yeah, what I can do is, if I want the items, which I don't really know if I do, but I should just be able to do this. Tell this guy that it's only to... Right. You are going to receive energy and send items. Set. And then do that. Hook that up. Stack size 64. Ignore redstone. All this shit should get pulled straight out and sent back over to the overworld. Because then I can have it. Because I don't like to throw stuff away. Even though I am a trillion percent positive there is no quest for like all of this shit that I'm getting, I literally mining out a giant hole to make dirt. And this guy should be filling up this chest. Should be. 
config receiving items. Yes, he is receiving items, but I don't know if he's actually doing anything. So, another another act nine thousand. It's not going up. Um, maybe it won't just straight output. Maybe it needs to output into a pipe or two. Do that. Still nothing. Oh, it's connected to that. Put it there so it doesn't connect to anything. Set it to output. I wish you could, you know, look at the quarry and it's like, oh, I've got items trying to get through, but I can't do it for some reason. And, you know, get, in get information on it. That'd be really helpful. Quarry? I meant Tesseract. Um, t no, not Tesseract. I want a servo. To see if it needs power to pull items out. I don't know if the quarry auto outputs or not. Pull items out. Nothing happening. Interesting. And the other one we've got over here is just set to energy. Uh, receiving nothing, sending only energy. Okay, it doesn't actually matter what happens to the items. I could just like void them all, but I'm a little anal about that. I like to know where everything is, you know. Never lapis or maybe it's uh, broken. Maybe it broke a block, spawned one of them fuckers, and it shot it with a fireball or something. That's very possible. There are still a lot of those little fuckers around it, to be honest. So it could be. Mind. How's it going? Yeah, it's no longer pulling items. Not stuffed though. Yeah, that's another rack going in. Frequency one, send items, receive energy. So the items are in there somewhere. Just don't know where. Interesting. Currently working on this line. Sounds like an awful lot of them are getting spawned underneath and suffocating. And I've got to be honest, I don't think I could be more happy with that result. Because that is a fucking result and a half. That, that's just brilliant. I'm loving that. Yeah, still a lot of explosions going. Where's it mining now? This block. So what, did it do like this entire line, then this entire line, then this entire line? Makes sense, I suppose. And it looks like it's still running, and it's not yet full. So what if I do that, and fill it up, and then wait to see if it still runs? Okay, so it's definitely full now. Yeah, uh... It's using energy every time I click on it. No items coming out. No items being exported. Uh, I'm just going to make a trash can or something. Just something to void them since I can't for the life of me figure out where these fucking items are going with the uh, with the thing. Hmm, maybe that ended... Maybe the other uh, Tesseract is set to some weird setting. Why didn't you think about this? I'm... Like I say... Uh, receiving items... Ignored... Anything there? No? Okay, what about... Let's just go straight up... Here's a chest, put shit in it... Mode. No? Nothing? What if I move the chest, maybe? So it wasn't constantly being interacted with on all sides? Absolutely nothing. Uh, you are set to power. You are set to public. You are set to receive items. I have no idea why this isn't working. Oh well. Some things you just can't be bothered to work out. So I'm just going to take a trash can. We have extra utils in this mod, right? 
Uh, yes, awesome. I'm just going to stick one of these on top of it and use it, this to uh, delete every item that comes out of it. Because I don't need them anyway. I just like to have them. But if I can't work it out, it's no point wasting time trying to do all this shit. Yes, wah, indeed. Uh, it's over here. Excuse me, chest. You know what, chest? Just move. Uh, trash can. You, sir, have some. have a mighty lot of work to do. Yeah, it's running now. It's got somewhere to put all its extraneous items, so it's happy. Oh well, we'll just leave that running as it is. Uh, that seems like a fairly decent way of getting dirt. And I'll probably come in at some point and just find a really massive open area, put a, uh, a one thick sheet of dirt across the top and just let it run. Ah, uh, let me hear the pain. Yeah, that's it. Yes. Oh! There's a lot of them down there. <laughs> and it's still running. Yeah, 10% complete. So there's, you know, there's an extra 2,000 dirt sitting there for me. And I can just build another couple of these quarries or something like that. Um, it, it's just some, it's another way of getting dirt along with all the other method, methods I'm employing, which is basically everything apart from running fish. Because I hate fish. It's like, I've got all these running, and I've got all these running, and I've got all the sludge from uh, both my tree farm and my nether water farm being sludge boiled, which is supposed to give dirt at some slow rate, and I've got almost enough for another block. Huh. Uh, how many blocks do I have? I have 16 more blocks. So, if we check this for the hoarding, no, for the hoarding, good. Dirt compression, manually submit. We are still not even halfway there. Oh, you know what we can do, though? Um, have I done this already? No, um, I have way more than all the cobble I need. Um, yeah, I've got nine set tuples, so I can craft those into an octuple which is the final level and I can complete that quest which has been moved from For the Hoarding to Bragging Rights just to piss me off and right there I can submit there's my octuple compressed that was long uh, uh, ooh. wait farm? forestry? F oh yeah of course forestry's in the pack isn't it? we have bees huh I don't think I still don't think I've even used one of these forestry farms in all the time I've been playing packs with forestry in it. Oh well. <coughs> um So yeah, that is the octuple compressed done, which means, hello, crazy automation. What? I am fucking what? Are you fucking kidding me? What? I I'm sorry. Um, run, run that past me again. Yeah, yeah. So it, it is. It's four of those. Four of those. Sixteen of those. Sixteen of those. 64 of those, and 512 of those, right. Yeah, okay, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't seeing things. What the fuck? I was... I was getting all happy because I could, I could tear this down. But apparently now I need many, many more of these. No, oh, I'm not okay with that. Oh, fucking really? Really? <laughs> oh, fuck a shit. A stack of magnets. What level magnets were they? 
just a stack of mysterious magnets. Is that level one? Does level one work for that? Or level zero even? Nope, of course it doesn't. Level zero does not the magnet want. That is not the magnet that quest wants. Oh, for fucking shitting cock's sake. Oh, let me just, let me just see. Oh, you know, I probably actually don't have the stuff to make that magnet right now. Um, I might do. Oh, that is gorgeous to see running so fast. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah, I don't have the stuff to make this yet. Well, on that note, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Peace out.